Yeah, Aaron, CAL FIRE's Hawk Choppers already had the capability to fly at night, but when it comes to training crew members to fight fires at night, that takes training and special equipment, specifically in this case, night vision goggles. As CAL FIRE crews wait for the sun to go down, fire chiefs and pilots with years of experience brief them on the extensive training ahead, how to fight fires at night using night vision goggles. This is our time to go through and learn about the NVGs, how to fly with them, how to fight fire with them, um, and just get a broad overview of the training of what that NVG program is for us here. With 17 years of aviation experience, Battalion Chief Sky McGregor says this new tool will allow crew members in the air to relay precise information to firefighters on the ground. What the fire is doing, um, where it's going, what the activity of the fire is, and also help them plan in their strategic plan to, you know, come up with a, a goal objectives of where we're going to stop this fire. For Tuesday's training, crews headed out to the San Luis Reservoir, where they fly back and forth to the base, practicing with night vision goggles. They will be um, flying out to like our work sites, which are, they'll be practicing landings, um, you know, getting water from the lake and actually doing water dropping operations. Learning everything from the basics of how to use the goggles and what to do if they fail. Getting used to operating under the goggles. So flying at night, it's drastically different than flying during the day. We are faced with obviously visual limitations. And then we start to move into the tactical phase where we're, uh, we're, we'll uh, work on uh, hover fills and uh, a lot of our fire suppression tactics. The night vision goggles and this new training will allow them to fly around the clock, trying to stay ahead of wildfires that don't stop burning when the sun goes down. Nobody will ever uh, get to a point where they know every every single um, scenario that they're going to be in, but it's about collecting as many tools in the process to be able to handle that scenario when it comes. Now, crews are expected to be out training all night till 3 a.m. and will be training all week until Friday.